Gunvote, you're home. How did the job go? Huh? Jewel? But we both... I must be dreaming. Maybe you are now. Maybe you were before. But whether you've walked into a dream, or out of some terrible phantasmagoria, you'll never know, will you? Seriously, bro. We've all got one foot in fantasy and one in reality. If you don't know where you are, all you can do is keep going. There's no sidestepping fate, real or imagined. But you can walk toward it, armed with hope. Maybe you've already found a little of it. Or maybe you haven't. But if you ever do think you've found a little hope, I hope you'll share it with me. You feel a little closer to Jewel. What? Okay, uh, welcome back to some Azure Striker Gun Vault. Um, I just... I just came on back here, uh, reopened the, sa the save file that I just completed last episode, and that... that happened, which is pretty cool. So I guess this is a way of... dialing back the clock so that I can play the game normally again, despite the fact that Gun Vault and Jewel seem to have died at the end of the regular playthrough. Um, and this gives me a chance to collect those jewels and give it to Jewel, but I really like how it did this, because it didn't explain what I had to do. It just told me, like, it suggested to me that there's hope for a better ending. Also, it's kind of neat that you don't get this unless you go into the save file, so you have to have already had some sort of hope already. Oh, good game. Good game, Monkey Ninja 4. Um, but, like, yeah, it just kind of tells you, the player, like, hey, keep playing the game and maybe you can find a way out of this, which I'm totally all about. So, today, I don't think you guys are going to be following me the whole time, but Masuki homes in on additional targets if it hits its mark. Oh, neat. I'll give that a try, I guess. Um, I'm going to be... Going through the old levels, trying to find the jewels. You're not gonna have to watch me do the whole thing, though. I'm just going to... Uh... I'm just going to search the area, and I'll show you guys if I find anything. So, I'm gonna start with the subaquatic base. Which means I should turn some... Some of these on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the stage in five minutes if I'm also looking for stuff. But... With an S or higher, man. Oh, yeah, I, I did this one already, but... And vo avoiding as many wormhole traps as possible. I don't, I don't know how many that is. Might as well turn them on, though. There's no downside for failing the missions. So, yeah, I'm going to jump on in, head to the subaquatic base, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything. Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, I got an anthem. So I got caught by a flood, and an anthem activated it, and now I'm, uh... Well, I'm still not able to use my electricity underwater, but, uh... Maybe I'll be able to take everything a little bit more slowly now, because the water is not going to hurt me. And, actually, pretty much nothing's going to hurt me now. Alright. Thank you, Lumen. So... Yeah, I still can't use any kind of electricity. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I decided to use a guide, and I believe... Oh yeah, I can do, like, this weird jump here. Um, I'm told that, yeah, there's a jewel. There's a jewel, it was over there the whole time. I guess I would have rushed before if I got through here, but yeah, I'm just gonna grab that jewel right there, and... And I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to use it to fight Merrick again. Well, I'm not going to use the jewel. The jewel doesn't really have anything to do with fighting Merrick. It's I, I'm going to take it back with me after I after I beat up Merrick. Is what I'm planning to do. Okay, and that's a uh, one jewel down that I managed to get. Got a rank C. I would have gone better if I didn't get hurt and had to. Um, Okay, that's not very good stuff. But I obtained a jewel. There we go. That's exactly what I was uh, looking for. If I didn't 
die if I didn't get drowned and Lumen save me. I notice you don't gain any points. You don't, like, rack up a score anymore after you got Lumen, so that's one thing. But I get this little jewel thing there, and I guess if I talk to Jewel... Hey, Jewel, I've got something for you. I took out the jewel I found and gave it to her. Wow, a jewel! How much should I read into this? <laughs> ar har You're welcome. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's really nice. Thank you. Aw. Gave her a little aquamarine, I guess, from the sub-aquatic base. So, I'm not gonna lie, I am using a guide that's telling me the locations of these, because... You know, while it would be fun to just, like, comb through all the levels and try and find things that way, that's just... I, I ain't got time for that. I got too many other things to play. So, I'm just gonna put on some challenges for the next area, the Media Tower, and go from there. Okay, and we are at the top of the Media Tower, which I'm going to drop down here, and up, oh, there it is, I saw it. So, I just need to get there properly. Up, 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 and I need to... Do a really good drop and wave over. There we go. Picked it up. And now we get to fight... What's his name again? Jochen. Jogen. I, I guess I'll remember after this because I can hear him say it again. It was Joda. His name was Joda. J-O-T-A. Which, like... Man, I could just not keep that name in my head. Seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. I missed the goal I was going for by half a minute, but I got a lot of bonus tries, so let's get some good stuff here. Serve a photon, purging steel, polymer, okay, all right. And custom serve a photon, but I obtained another jewel, so let's take it. This, it's occurring to me now that this video is going to seem very, very repetitive to you guys because you're just seeing the parts where I grab a jewel, and I give it to Jewel. But hey, think of this as all the different conversations. Hey Jewel, I got something for you. I took out the Jewel I found and gave it to her. Oh, is this going to be like the same way they say it every time? Wow, a Jewel. Okay, they're gonna use the same conversation every time. So I don't even really have to show you this over and over again either, do I? Yeah, I guess not. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, I feel a little closer to Jewel. And welcome to the biochem plant. Um, this kind of little danger room. Thought I'd show off me at least trying to not take too much damage here. There we go. Apparently there... Yeah, if you just break the alarm, enemies stop coming in. This stage is really fun, especially when you turn on the challenges, because one of them wants you to blow up 200 boxes, so it's just box explosions everywhere. But here, this, this one always interests me, because because um, there's got to be a way up here, right? There's got to be, with all these boxes, it has to amount to something, you would think. So why don't I just change to something a little bit less, like, immediately destructive here. Let's go for something like the, uh, the Naga. Yeah, there's a charge shot on the Naga. I never realized that before. Let's drop on down. And I think somewhere around here, unless I blew it already, unless I already messed up. You know what? I think I did. Yeah, I think it must have been somewhere in that, um, yeah, within that little zone there, so maybe, I don't know, is there a way I can, yeah, escape? Wait, wait, gotta press the right thing here. Escape, and not restart, but retry? Yeah, that'll take me back to the last checkpoint, which is awesome. Uh, so let's see, somewhere in this, this is gonna be kind of puzzly, because somewhere in this group of boxes is the way forward. Uh, 
Okay, um... I think I want to try to just not destroy these bombs here. I think that's how I want to do this. Uh... Nope, I, uh, activated the bombs. Didn't mean to. Yeah, I think the jewel is, like, under one of these black crates here. That, that's that's what I'm thinking, which is a really devilish place to hide it. That's like, man, I would never, because unless I did it right, I wouldn't see it. So I wouldn't know it was there. You have to like have the foresight to know how to get in. It's, I never would have figured that out on my own. I did when I was coming through here the first time. I thought, I wonder if this is a puzzle. You know, because, because it's puzzly. Um... So I think what I need to do is find a way around this entire deal. Uh, yeah, if I blow that up and if I can... If I can just... Ugh. No, that's not quite what I run it, wanted. Um, does that... Will this go through the box? Yes, it will. Cool. Okay, and blow that. How am I gonna get under there now, though? How am I gonna hit just this one piece? There, There's no way. Nope. That's it. Oh, wait. Did I do it? Did I get in? I, I think I might have. Let's just shoot a whole bunch at... No, wait, we'll get a little far away. And I don't see a jewel there. That's fine. There, okay, I see the jewel. But how in the hell am I supposed to get to that? I don't think I can. No. All right, let's uh, try that again then. Okay, so what I need to do is, like, keep the entire explosive shell... Ow. Okay. That didn't actually hurt, though. I said, ow, even though I was perfectly fine. So, yeah, I need to get over. So if I just kind of sneak... Uh... Is there a way for me to sneak that? I don't... I don't really think there is. Nope. Huh. Huh. Okay, I think the only solution is going to be to, like, tunnel under somehow. I don't know if there's a way to do this. Okay, what if I... What if I just destroy the entirety of this bottom row here? Oh, okay. I caused an explosion, but... I don't know if it hurt the entire thing. I think I can still squeeze on through here. Um, no. No, I don't think I can. I, I don't think there's a way. Can I get under... Nope. Oh, that separated it. That gave me enough room to get through. Great. Uh... But... So close. So freaking close. Uh... Yeah. So, maybe... Yeah, there we go. We just have to... It, unless the explosive boxes are touching each other, their explosion will not affect each other. So, hmm, let me think about this. Um, hmm. Oh, I got a little trigger happy there, but... But okay, that did something. That... Uh, that did something. That made... That screwed me over, actually, is what I think it did. Oh! Oh, I did that by accident! Got it! Oh my gosh, thank... Thank... Thank God that's over. That was a bunch of horse jit as... Gunbolt might say.
And that's going to be another tool collected. Um, I want to check my challenges, see if I actually got any of them that time. Um, yeah, there we go. So I got a B or higher, so that's going to get me some Nano Chip 98s. And another final quasi crystal. Um, what I really want right now is quartzite. But okay, next place I'm planning to go is. Wait, what is this? Mini boss spider in 40 seconds or less. I could probably do that. Um, data data store. Yeah, that's where I'm going next. So let's do the data store. Prepare those. And I'm gonna go over and change my loadout back to. Um, no, not that. Uh, back to the Vasuki, because I'm having a lot of fun with that. And we'll give these to you Jewel real fast. Yep, there you go. Same thing, har har. And halfway there, actually not quite halfway there, because there's seven of them. The other one is going to be this one on, uh, on Sinner's Row again. So, ah, boy. I don't know if this episode's gonna be really short or really long. Okay, so down here somewhere, I should be able to... Oh. Okay, those are the electromagnets. And if I move along... Oh, okay. Alright, took some damage, but I managed to get it. Managed to get the one here at the data center, so that's good. Ow. Stepping on spikes. That's fine. And that gives me Jewel number four, so let's give that one off to Jewel. Also, all this talking to her should make it so that Lumen procs for me any time that I die, I would think. Um, checking the challenges again. Repetitive, repetitive. This is going to be a very long episode for me and possibly a much shorter one for you. This is all I got? A B or higher? Well, what was the special reward for this? Um... Cause 20 of Data Store's Flash Field Reactor Mines to self-destruct. Oh, okay, I always try to kill them because that gives me points, but I guess I need to just let them explode on their own. Well, we're going to the uh, Stratacombs next. I like the names of these ones. Um, defeat Elise and Stratacombs without using any offensive skills. Um, for a Genomic Resonator, I don't know if that's something that I need. You feel really smart saying what parts that you need, though, and... Like, talking about it makes it feel like you're really good at math and science and stuff, so... I guess that's kind of cool. It makes me feel like a good engineer as opposed to just an engineer. Ah, yes, the Stratacombs. Don't you love completely dark areas? I love them. Though at least, like, your main power in this game kind of gives you some sort of luminosity. So, I don't know, somewhere in here, how are we going to find a jewel completely in the dark? Well, by knowing where it is already, basically. Um, there's a red up there. So I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe I get a red switch and then I go back up through that red door. How, did, how does that sound? Maybe we'll find it there after we get through these, these zombies that are... Oh, oh get off me now. Ah, uh, you guys stink. Yep, there it is. Got him. And Elise is down yet again. If I had a dollar for every time I had to kill some copy of Elise during this playthrough. A lot of video game characters named Elise, aren't there? Uh, yeah, Genemic. Was that what I was going for? Or was that just something I found? No, that's something that the one um, challenge is going to give me. I did the challenge, which is going to, um, yeah, I did the challenge for not using any offensive skills against Elise, which is pretty tough, because the way she is, you kind of want to use, like, that's the best way to defeat her, in particular. Let's check the challenges, see what it was willing to award me for that. Um, could have showed you, because it was going pretty well for a while, but then it was going less well once they started resing each other, but I... Managed to not get hit for a while in that battle. So that got me another Resonator and more Grain Culture. Let's... Bathe Star Stratacombs in all seven possible colors. Oh, that's like every combination of the colored lights that you can hit. That makes sense. Okay, if I put some forethought into it, if I ever need a six Miracle Grain, I know where to come and get one. 
So the Pharma Lab, that's a Stratos' place is going to be next. And what's the special challenge for that? Um, during the mini-boss with, uh, with Eidolon, Eidolon, um, Eidolon, it should be pronounced Eidolon, I think. Final Fantasy XIII pronounces it weird. Um, oh, defeat that without any offensive skills. Okay, the, the part with the plant, the plant that you, like, actually go there to fight. Give this to Jewel and I'll be on my way. Oh, wait, is that it? Is that it right there? Is that the... Huh. Wow, I walked into this one accidentally. Unfortunately, I already destroyed the path, but um, I don't think the spines are going to insta-kill me, so I'll just grab it. Yeah, worth it. Wow, that one was really easy to find, actually. I, I hadn't even... I had forgotten to look in my guide to see where it was, because I was just kind of enjoying replaying the level, and there it was. This was the first level I played at the time, so I bet if I knew jewels were a thing, I would have seen that the first time coming through. I don't remember if I took notice to it. I probably just thought it was like a health pickup. One more. This episode is literally taking me over an hour to record. Um, that's not what I want. Jewel, here you go. Some something. Ah, uh, it's a wedding proposal. LOL. And I haven't died since I've been giving all these jewels to her, so... I don't know, I'm kind of expecting it to be something really, really good. Speaking of something really, really good, can I get two of these things? Oh, yeah, okay. Didn't get my eight minutes or less because, I don't know, I wasn't rushing that much. But get some Windows 98 mana chips, phase fluid, liquid metal, cool. Um... Use flash field to block as many of Pharma Lab swarms as possible. What do you mean as many as possible? I could just stand there and get hit by them forever. That's weird. Okay, uh, clear Sinner Row in eight minutes, because that's where our last one's going to be, Sinner's Row. And clear Sinner's Row using the shortest possible route. Okay, so that comes with trying to master the illusion. Use Zir Illusion. Use Zyre. Use Zer Illusion? Like her, but with the X? Huh, maybe. And welcome back to the Kaleidoscape, uh, Sinner's Row here. We're going through it backwards right now because of the power of Zonda's Mirror Dimension dealie, which, um, what, what's happening? Zonda gonna mess with me again? No, this is... Okay, we got a danger area, which is what I was looking for, I believe. So, good. Good, excellent. Just need to take care of all of these dudes. I ran out of power there, but that's okay, because I just did a really good dashing jump. I'm pretty pleased with myself there. Um, I think I need to go up there. Oh, with this... Is this a place where I needed the air hop? Oh, I'm worried that it's that it is. Oh crap! Oh crap! I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Um, can I change my equipment right now? Recharge ring. Do I not have any of my? I didn't have any of my rings equipped this whole time. Wow, I feel like an idiot. I could have been doing all these air hops and air boosts and stuff. Okay, now I have a jump. Great. And that's the jewel. Okay. All we have to do is get out of here and we'll be golden. We just had to defeat Zonda. And by that, I mean uh, Copen because Zonda's all like GTFO in this one uh, gets completely owned. I doubt I'm using the shortest route there because I was using the route that gets me to the stone. I just shot a harpoon through that one guy. That was great. Um, head all the way over here. And, yep, this looks like where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, so I figure I'll just um, end this one off with good old... With, with some good old action where you guys see me fight. I don't know. You guys have already seen me fight a cooler, more interesting version of Copen, so I guess why bother to show that again if I don't have to. I think that's the way I'm supposed to be going. I go into the upside down. Speaking of which, um, it's September right now when I'm recording this, and uh, 
Stranger Things should be back on soon, which I'm very excited for, actually. That, that was a really good show. I like that show way more than I had expected to like it. It's I'm one of those people who doesn't try new things very easily as far as, like, TV shows go. I still haven't watched any of The Flash or Supergirl or, um, is it Champions of Tomorrow? Because, I mean, I like DC, I just like Marvel more, and I, I tried getting into the CW DC stuff because... I watched uh, Archer. I watched the entire first season of Archer. I mean, <laughs> Archer. Not not Archer. Um, Arrow. Archer is a very different thing. Um... Oh wow, I actually made it. That, that was even harder to do while being all disoriented. Um, I watched the first season of Arrow and it was like, eh. And people tell me it gets better, but I watched like half of the second season and just it's never going to interest me. I mean... Maybe it's better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I'm so obsessed with the MCU that I want to watch all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. still. Though, now I might not have to worry about that because they're doing the whole Inhumans thing. I watch a lot of MCU. If any of you guys ever want to talk MCU, man, let me know. Yeah, okay, I'll... You guys can watch me fight Copen one more time. All right. I've been getting I've been getting way better, man, so I'm not scared of you anymore. Because I realized I can shoot those bullets. I just have to try and shoot them faster. Well, so far this is not going very well. Because he hit me with one of those bullets, so like I just gotta sit and wait, I guess. Yeah, this uh this isn't as impressive as I was hoping it might be. So I'll just, uh, look Excalibur him in the face and hope for the best. Oh, wow, that's so good. Oh yeah, and I have a double jump now, so I should, like, actually utilize that. Alright. Okay, yeah, now he actually has all the powers of... all the bosses. That almost worked. That was almost enough to get me through without having to... without having to actually, um put any effort into it. Eat Asher's Seer, buddy. And that should do it. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to my clear, pick up my stuff, give one last jewel to Jewel, and yeah, jewels for jewels. That's what it's all about today. Get my B rank, Get my bonus tries. Wow, I didn't I didn't pick up as many things today, did I? Zwidia, high end, and yeah, not in a not in that run through. Got the jewel. Let me uh pick up my challenges real quick. If, if, if you'll allow me, if you'll bear with me for a couple more seconds here. <clears throat> Getting hiccups again. Bear with me for a couple more seconds here. Only got one that time. Which is the ranking, which is fine. I already forget what that gave me. Um, let's talk to Jewel. Hey, Jewel, I got something for you. Oh, even with it being the seventh one, I don't get anything special? Okay, I thought she'd say something different on the seventh one, at least. Okay, I feel a little closer to Jewel. I think at this point I feel a lot closer to Jewel. So that's, um... That's gonna be all the Jewels, all given to her. There's seven. Seven total. So, next time, we're going to head back into the final mission of the game and see if we can't get a bit of a happier ending for old Gunvolt and Jewel here. I thought... I thought Jewel was going to die in the bad ending, but I didn't think they would both die in the bad ending. That makes it, like, not even feel... Like, I... Usually bad endings are, like, bittersweet, or, like, you just know that you could have done better, not, like... I mean, geez. I didn't get any more Quartzite because I wanted to get one to build another Shield Medallion and use that to get the Shield Medallion Plus. Um, didn't work out that way. I really... I thought I already had this Shield Medallion Plus, but no, I was just using the regular Shield Medallion, so... I can't imagine how good my defenses are going to be if I can get Plus, but I think I'm just going to be jumping right in next time, so... Yeah, I still am not even close to the Ambi Annulus thing. Uh, that's okay, I'm just gonna run in there. Duplay boost band? 
Yeah, that's for air hopping. Enables to wear, do two boost jumps, but I think I need dash. I think air dashes are going to be very important moving ahead, and that takes more quartzite anyway, so... To perform continuous air dashes. Oh, that sounds awesome. I wish I had more polymers. That sounds amazing. Okay, so until next time, I'm the Comic Foil. There's lots of cool stuff here. I could probably spend a long time looking at all this, but I really have to get going. So until later, guys, signing out.